happy, so I got in. I got into Melbourne Fashion Week. So we got into Melbourne Fashion Week, all four of us did, and we're so excited, and now it's go, go, go to the finish line. I actually had finished work and I'd had all these missed calls and I didn't actually realise where they were from. And then I checked my messages and it said we got in and I was just kind of overwhelmed. I was actually with my boyfriend at the time and he kept being like, Erin, what is it? What is it? Erin, Erin. And I was like, oh my God, I actually got in. I was just really overwhelmed and excited. It really just hit me all at once. I was actually on campus pattern making and Todd, one of the lecturers, just barged through the door and he's like, congratulations, you got in. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I actually went downstairs and looked at his email that he got because I could not believe it. So over the past six weeks, we've been developing our capsule collection for Melbourne Fashion Week. It's been all hands on deck. The girls and I have all just been like working towards trying to get our final three outfits all completed and finished. So just going through the whole twirling process, pattern making, choosing the right fabric. We've also been going to the mentor sessions with Stuart, which has been super, super helpful. Working with Stuart has been amazing. He's just an amazing guy and really gives useful information to make us really evolve and do the best we can in our collection. So Stuart gave the suggestion of getting uh, another white tulle fabric and weaving it through my mesh. It's really elevated my fabric and created this whole new aspect that I didn't even know that was possible. He's very positive and gives it great ideas. Him being able to explain what he can see in it compared to like me or one of the lecturers because they're so close to it. He obviously has so much insight into the industry. Getting knowledge from him has really been quite valuable. I have come across one major challenge. I have a jacket that has a few different like puff aspects throughout the jacket. One of the sleeves, it just was so thick I couldn't bind it so I had to kind of come up with another way of I guess closing the sleeve. Whether it be the iron or just the table, keeping the white fabric clean is a nightmare. Doing my puffer jacket that I've recently just finished, trying to get the pieces together with all this puff in it has just been a nightmare. So I think just the finishes has been the hardest bit, trying to make everything look really nice on the inside and the outside and just bring it all together, I think has been the hardest. From concept to now, I've scaled back a couple of things. I've changed like dresses and tops and skirts. My designs have changed quite a bit. My puffer pants weren't even like a thing about like four weeks ago. I just kind of was like, okay, I need to make it all cohesive. Let's just do this. Even my final designs that I chose, after a bit of trial and error and just seeing how it works on the body, my designs definitely have changed in a good way. The final runway, just having that satisfaction, like my stuff looks good. Like, wow, I did that. I just never really kind of thought I could maybe do it, I guess. I'm definitely most excited for just to see what comes after and any opportunities that come from it see everybody's looks on the runway and how they turn out. Just to be sitting there on the night and see my garments come down the runway, I think it'll be so rewarding. We're all so tired and exhausted right now. I think just seeing that will make it all worth it. So we've just got a couple of weeks left till the runway on September 1st. We have to have our garments ready and sent in for delivery soon and we've got fittings. I'm really excited, really nervous. I can't wait till all my garments are complete and sewn so I don't have to worry about it. I can just sit back and watch the models do their work. Fingers crossed it goes well.